So in this video, you will see what I've been eating and you may be surprised by the amount of weight that I have lost this week. All right, I may be able to do this on camera. Oh my goodness. My bottle doesn't wanna work. During my weight loss journey, I really focus on whole grains. So I'm gonna show you a substitution for grits that are made from corn. You can use brown rice for me. Hi everyone. I want to say a special hello and thank you to all of my new subscribers. In January of 2023, I restarted my weight loss journey. Last Sunday was my birthday, so a week ago, today is Sunday, August 6th. So a week ago was my birthday on July 30th. I stood on the scale and I realized I have gone seven months and made no progress on my weight loss journey. In fact, I was losing weight in the beginning of the year and I have gained all of that weight back. So I restarted. My whole thought last week was not give up because I'm never going to do that. My thought last week was, okay, baby, you messed up the first seven months of the year, but there are still five months left where you can do some good work and get your health together. For the month of August, I'm not doing any sugar, but also what I was doing, I was taking too much stuff away, right? So I took away the sugar, but in my previous weight loss journey, I did take away sugar for five months. But what I did was I piled up on fruit, right? So I did learn that the sugar in fruit is fructose and is contained in the cell of the fruit. So it doesn't impact the body the same way as table sugar does. But also what it does do when I eat the fruit and eat enough of the fruit is it takes away my craving for the table sugar or the high fructose corn syrup. So that's what I did this week. Um, I did post a lot of my meals and post um, how I was managing through my first week in terms of nutrition. So I got through that and I got through that well. In addition to the fruit, I also knew that I wanted hearty meals. Usually when I start off the first week or two, my body is going through changes because I've been eating so awfully, meaning I've been eating a lot of high fat foods, uh, a lot of sweets, cakes, ice cream, all of those things. And so when I take that away, my body kind of is like, whoa, we want the junk that you've been eating. So what I did was, I made hearty foods that I really liked and that kind of weaned my body off of things without me having the headaches, without me having the cravings, things like that. But I looked at some old pictures and they were pictures of me in New Orleans. And all of a sudden, ding, that was a trigger for me. I wanted two things. I wanted a shrimp poor boy and I wanted shrimp and grits, right? So I said, you are on a weight loss journey. You did really, really well. When I do things sensibly and I make my own food, I cook my own food, I like my food better because I really can cook. I mean, I'm not like a top chef or anything like that, but I can cook. So I'm getting back in the kitchen. So Saturday, I decided I was going to do shrimp and grits. And I will include that recipe and how I did that. What I did learn during my previous weight loss journey is there are things that we can substitute to make a meal healthier. So I make shrimp and grits, but I make them with brown rice grits. Who even knew that there was such a thing? So it's not like they have less calories than regular grits, but what they do have in them is some protein, fiber that the regular white grits made from corn don't have some of those things also so i make that i put butter in it i put cheese in it i ate those on saturday and i weighed in sunday so 
In this video, you will see what I've been eating and you may be surprised by the amount of weight that I have lost this week. So right now, I'm gonna jump to last week's weigh-in, immediately followed by my weigh-in this morning. And then I'm going to show you the recipes, how I altered them to make them more healthy, to fit a weight loss journey. Perhaps if you are on a weight loss journey as well, this will help you. Or if you're working to maintain your weight, it will help you. Good morning, YouTube family. Today is Sunday, July 30th, 2023. And I'm weighing at 252.8. Horrible, horrible, horrible. But All right, so now let's see today's weigh-in. Today is Sunday, August 6th, 2023. Today marks one week since I restarted my weight loss journey, and I'm going to weigh in. I'm going to put the phone down first. I don't want to weigh myself and the phone. My weight is 246.4. 246.4. So this week I lost 6.4 pounds. I focused on my food. I did not exercise at all. But I will talk more about that at the end of this video and also share with you what my plans are for this week, which does include exercise. Let's get into these recipes. All right, so I have my station set up already and I'm going to go in closer to show you how I'm going to do the shrimp. So these are large shrimp. The shrimp have already been cleaned. I peeled deveined them, then I rinsed them off and patted them with a paper towel to get any excess moisture or water off of them. I will go in, rather than uh, flour, I will go in with cornstarch. Then I will dredge them in this egg wash. And this egg wash has just three things in it. This is some a habanero spice blend. You can just put hot sauce in with the eggs if you want. Mrs. Dash, because I want to keep the sodium low, and about a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. The next thing I'll do is to dredge them in my fish fry. And this is just Zatarain's fish fry that I put some Cajun seasoning in. This is the brand that I used. I got it from TJ Maxx. They have it in TJ Maxx Home Goods, Marshalls. I went in with some cumin and some black pepper. Again, keeping the sodium low. This is what the flour looks like. It looks well seasoned. Also to this, I wanted to my shrimp to have a crispier texture to them. So I added in to the fish fry, two tablespoons of cornmeal and it's fine cornmeal. Rather than just talk about it, I'm going to show you the cornmeal and the fish fry that I use. This is Zatarain's fish fry. I got it from Costco. That's the only place that I have found that they have the very large containers. This fish fry is already seasoned. I usually don't buy pre-seasoned fish fry. However, this was the only option that was available in this big container. Then over here, I have cornmeal and it's finely ground cornmeal. Now that my oil is hot, I'm going to go in with my first batch of shrimp. And these are going to go really fast from start to finish. These will take maybe four minutes. We'll see. I don't want to crowd it too much because it'll take the temperature of the oil down and they'll take on too much oil. I think I can get one more in here without compromising my oil temperature. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I'm doing too much. I probably should have turned these already. 
They have a nice crisp on them. All right, I think this is the last one. And as you can see, as I get up closer, uh-oh, as I get up closer, they are well seasoned. These are gonna go for about another minute, and then I'll put my last batch in. All right, I'm going to take these out and transfer them onto a paper towel. Oh, they are looking good, good, good. Transfer them onto a paper towel. You want nice sized shrimp when you're doing a poor boy. You don't want some little old shrimp. You want to come in and season them well. You want them to be crispy. All right. So that's what we're looking like. Go in with these last two. Gonna take these, the second batch out of the oil. Yay. that on to paper towels so it can drain. Yes, shrimp! All right, looking good. Nice and seasoned, nice and crispy. I'm gonna go in and taste one. Mm-hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. In addition to these great shrimp that I fried, I also fried a bit of catfish. So you can make a catfish poor boy or you can make a shrimp poor boy. These mission carb balance whole wheat tortillas are the key to keeping this shrimp poor boy or a catfish poor boy low carb. I use one of these and they have just five net carbs and 110 calories, right? So five net carbs, six grams of fat, total of 30 carbs, but it has 25 grams of fiber, which um, the fiber cancels out the carbs. So um, 25 minus 30 gives you five net carbs. I do want to state this. Remember that you can make a low carb poor boy or use the replacement grits, but you don't have to do that for your entire family. If you are the only one on a weight loss journey or the only one in your family that's maintaining your weight or don't want the extra carbs, you can always cook the same thing and put the rest of your families on a regular roll. Or what you can do is you can also make yours on a regular roll, but just remove some of the inner parts of the bread, almost so that you're just eating like the outer layer or the crust. That will also cut your carbs. Over here with my tortilla on a plate, and I'm gonna come and put a generous portion of lettuce that I have washed and not so much shredded, but chopped up. I have two nice slices of tomato. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do with these is cut them in half and then rearrange them. I am not going to make a traditional roulade where the base is mayonnaise because I'm on a weight loss journey. So one tablespoon of mayonnaise is 100 calories. These are some other options. This jalapeno aioli I got from TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods. It's one tablespoon. It's only 70 calories. Not a bit difference, but when you're trying to lose weight, it is. This is only 40 calories for two tablespoons, right? And this is a yogurt-based dressing. You can find it in any grocery store, even in Walmart. 
<clears throat> this is a cilantro lime crema everything sauce that I got from Costco. And this is 40 calories for two tablespoons. All of these taste really great. And so I will be substituting them for the traditional roumelade that goes on there. And actually, I only had a little of this jalapeno aioli left and a little bit of the crema. So I mixed it all together in this and I'm gonna use this on the poor boy. I like to season my foods every step of the way. And although this isn't traditional in a poor boy, I'm gonna go in with some herbs de Provence on the vegetables. Okay, the herbs are there. Typically in the roumelade sauce, there will be pickles and there'll be dill pickles, but I'm gonna use some of these bread and butter chips in replace of that. So I'm just gonna come in with a couple of these bread and butter pickle chips in addition to these great shrimp that I fried. I also fried a bit of catfish. So you can make a catfish poor boy or you can make a shrimp poor boy the same way. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the shrimp because I actually had catfish yesterday. And I'm going in with a generous portion of shrimp. So that's good. All right, I may be able to do this on camera. Oh my goodness. My bottle doesn't want to work. All right, I had a little bit of a snafu trying to put the sauce on it, but this is what it came out as. looks really good okay so I'm going to do a little bit of calorie counting and it's going to be an estimate the carb balance tortilla is 110 calories the shrimp say that they are 80 calories for four ounces and these are large shrimp so I'm going to say four is in a serving and I have seven on here so I'm going to say 160 for those and then the oil. So I cooked it in vegetable oil and that's about 120 calories for two, for a tablespoon. I'm sorry. So let's say this soaked up an entire tablespoon of oil. That'll be 120. So 110 for the um, tortilla, 160 for the shrimp, 120 for the oil on the shrimp. It's about 390 calories. And then of course I put breading on this. So that's going to be some calories. The lettuce and tomato are going to be negligible. Not including the breading, the lettuce and tomato, we were at 390. So I'm gonna take this up and say that this is about 450 calories. I eat between 1400 and 1800 calories a day. So 450 calories per meal is pretty good for me. So this is what I'm having. And this is going to be my lunch. Okay, so I like my items fried. But it is still kind of light. So I'm turning these over. I'm not using metal on a in a non on a non stick surface because it will scratch it. So that's why I'm using this spoon because I can't find my plastic tongs. All right, so there we are. I turned it over. I did put in one more piece off camera. I'll still have to do another batch, but I did add another piece. And I'll let this go for three to five more minutes. Pop this is kind of thick. So with some of the pieces, particularly like this piece, I need to fry a little bit longer to make sure it's done all the way through. During my weight loss journey, I really focus on whole grains. So I'm going to show you a substitution for grits that are made from corn. You can use brown rice farina. This brand is Bob's Red Mill and it tastes, I promise you, it tastes just like grits, but it's made from whole grains. All right, so I'm going to prepare. This morning, I want some fish and grits. So this is a piece of catfish. I'm going to season it and 
cut it into smaller pieces. Okay, so I like my items fried so that they feel kind of light. I'm turning these over. I'm not using metal on a in a non on a non stick surface because it will scratch it. So that's why I'm using this spoon because I can't find my plastic tongs. So there we are. I turned it over. I did put in one more piece off camera. I'll still have to do another batch, but I did add another piece. And I'll let this go for three to five more minutes. Hot this is kind of thick. So with some of the pieces, particularly like this piece, I need to fry a little bit longer to make sure it's done all the way through. As the catfish finishes, I'm going to make my grits. I don't measure my water when I make grits. All of them, this farina has instructions on it and the regular grits has instructions on it. I always whisk my grits in, but I have to hold the phone. So I'm gonna add some of this farina. Again, brown rice grits. So as you see, the grits have thickened and actually I can turn the heat off, all the way off. And there's so much heat in these, they'll continue to cook. And it's brown rice farina. So of course they are brown instead of white like the grits that are made from corn so this is grits made from brown rice again on my weight loss journey i do eat carbs i just control the amount of carbs that i eat and i don't put a lot of sour cream butter cheese that sort of thing on them so i'm going in with a cup of the brown rice grits I had my family over for breakfast a couple of weeks ago and I made the white grits. If it were just my siblings, they would have eaten the brown grits because we've all switched to that because it is healthier. But I didn't want anybody else outside of my siblings to complain. When I made the grits for my family, I put in an entire stick of butter, maybe more. I made the entire box of grits and I put a lot of heavy whipping cream. When I made the brown rice grits or the farina, I only used about a fourth cup of heavy cream. These grits are going to be divided into five servings. So I only added maybe 50 calories or 75 calories, which I did include in my calorie count. I also added a little bit of butter, but you will see me um, cutting it and I added a very little amount of butter. I learned this tip actually from the trainer from The Biggest Loser, Jillian Michaels. She writes about it in one of her books. All you need is a little bit to give it I flavor. Literally a sliver of butter to put on these grits. I'm doing it so thin that it's going to, I need kind of both hands to do it. So let me show you guys. And that's all I'm putting in there. Yes, that little, just to give it some flavor. Just a hint of flavor of butter. That's all I'm putting in there. Because I was trying Very to record, negligible. I couldn't really cut it as I wanted to. I put in about twice that all much. Right, I tried to do I one know. whole slice down the entire strip, but you get the I'm point. You just put a tag. Calories. I'm going to use a few sprinkles of this. It's going to be about a tablespoon. So I'm going to add maybe 30 calories to this. So this is a tablespoon of cheddar cheese. And I put that on my grits. And that's enough for me. So we can still have, I still have the same flavors. 
the same foods, some of the same foods that I eat on a weight loss journey that I have when I'm not on a weight loss journey. I just measure it out. I don't put as much um, of the bad things on, not as much butter. I don't drown my grits with cheese. I put just enough. So this is a heavier calorie breakfast. This is probably about 450 calories, but it's all good. And I'll let you see, even with just a tablespoon of cheese, it's melted in now. You can still see a cheese pool in these grits. They don't have to be drowning in the cheese. So my family found out that they love the brown rice grits. I will put this note of caution in. They're expensive. They really are expensive. And I have never found them in a store. I always order them online. All right. I love that they have both fiber and protein in them. Those are things that the regular grits do not have. So it is healthier for you. And it also cuts down the carbs. For every gram of fiber that is in something, it cancels out a gram of carbs. So it's great for fiber. It's also great in your, fiber is great in your system because it makes you feel fuller longer and it also helps with your digestion. All right. So I just wanted to stick that note in there. So let me explain this. I don't do low carbs. Low carb people tend to eat 50 grams of carbs a day or less. I try to keep my carbs under 150 grams of carbs. And yes, I still lose weight and I lose it. The Pretty lowest quick. I take my carbs is to about 100 because even at 100, I do very well. Now, when I'm not, really paying attention and watching my carbs, I'm probably eating 300 carbs a day, grams of carbs a day. And that's really what's keeping my weight on. So I have to be really careful about when I am eating the carbs, I'm eating whole grain carbs and I'm also limiting them. I'm coming down from eating well over maybe 300 grams of carbs a day easily that I was eating to having just between like 100 to 150 grams of carbs every day. And that is helping me. In addition to limiting the number of grams of carbs that I eat a day, the thing that really has been working for me is that I'm not adding the excess butter. I'm not adding the excess cheese, sour cream, heavy whipping cream, heavy salad dressings, all of those things, the mayonnaise, all of those things, I'm limiting those things so that I'm lowering my calories, I'm lowering the amount of carbs that I'm eating, and I'm also lowering the amount of fat that I'm eating. Now, I'm not so much concentrating on macros right now. So macros would be the major ones would be protein, carbs, and fat. I'm really more so focusing on the calories that I'm taking in, as well as keeping my carbs in check. So that's how I've been moving forward. I made catfish and grits, and I ate that Saturday. So you will see catfish and grits. And then today, which is Sunday, I wanted a really great meal. So I made a shrimp poor boy, and I made it low carb. We know that typically a shrimp poor boy is made on this big roll, right? So, and that's like a great part of it. We also know that it comes with a rumelade sauce that's mayonnaise based. So I'm going to show you my twist on it. I'm going to insert here. I found online where it says that a shrimp poor boy can be anywhere from 800 to 1,000 calories, but the one that I made is around 450 calories. A typical poor boy can have up to 80 grams of carbs, if not more. And mine is a lot less than that. It's not even half of that. So this week I lost 6.4 pounds. I focused on my food. I did not exercise at all. And in last week's vlog, 
I posted me right in front of Universal Studios. And that was the only walk that I did. And that was directly across the street from my hotel. So that was maybe about a seven minute walk to walk over there because I have to go up this ramp over the highway and then down the ramp. So altogether, about a seven minute walk each way. That was the only exercise that I did. And here is why. Typically on my second week on a weight loss journey, I don't lose that much weight. So I wanted to see, I'm not in a hurry to lose weight. So that's not my thing, but I do want to do well this last five months. So I wanted to kind of see a weight loss journey is not about how fast you do it or how slow you do it. A weight loss journey for me is really getting in tune and seeing and testing out what works for me. Although I had a successful journey, I know that I cannot do everything that I did in the past. And again, I'm still trying to recall how I did it and did it so successfully. So one of the things that I'm going to try this week is to work out the second week, right? Typically, I'll have a nice weight loss the first week back on my journey. And the second week, I may not lose anything. So I decided I was not going to work out the first week and then work out the second week. And I'm going to work out every day, but it's going to be something small. And I'm going to focus on the thing that I hate getting back into the most, which is push-ups. So I'm going to do three sets of 15 push-ups every day. And then I'm also going to walk every day. And I'm probably going to do, not probably, I'm going to walk 30 minutes every day. That's the part of it. Not probably. You have to set goals and then do them. So 30 minute walk every day. I did not do it today already, but it is still earlier in the evening. So I'm going to do a half an hour work walk and do three sets of 15 push-ups. Nothing big, just getting my body back into working out again. And that will be that. So stay tuned. I am going to post every day this week. And it'll probably be just a short video, eight, nine minutes um, to keep myself accountable to my workouts. So I will do that this week and check back in with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you try out the recipe. I hope you enjoy your week. I will continue to make time to check out, check out your channels. So thank you very much for watching and rocking with me. I do appreciate it. See you guys soon. Mm -hmm.